Oh no, I'm already dead. I am already dead. Repair, repair, repair. Can I get one ship? Ah, no, no. No, I don't care. Don't. No. I can't believe I cheated and didn't get any further. That is really annoying. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. We'll only keep your best run. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I can't... I mean, I, I really do want to save for Starship Design, because I think long-term that is actually a better all-round. But it won't help me in this situation. But extra shields might, or would they? Do, do my skills even apply? Okay, just, just one more, one more, one, just a little, just, just. And I'm going to start by cheating. I am so going to cheat. Debug tools. Please get in the pilot seat. Okay, I'm in the pilot seat. Can I get out of the pilot seat? Can I get out of the pilot seat right now? Welcome back. The goal of this examination remains the same. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. Defeat okay, three just... tiers of opponents to complete the exam. Good come hunting, come. applicant. No, no, no. no. Debug tools available. This upgrade will last for one tier. One tier. Generate, generate ally. Authorized users only. Hack the lock. Yes. Infinite upgrades. Upgrades persist between tiers. Okay. All upgrades will now persist between tiers. Generate debug ally. Debug ship active. All right. So I've now got a debug ally, a generated ally, and damage and shield upgrades. Is that right? Do I get a bunch of them? Do I get a bunch of them? Come on, come on, come on. This is, this should be... There's something kind of in the way there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Level 32. Simulate. Oh, God. Yep, then we got allies. And... Yeah, I've got two allies. I've got two allies. Okay. Alright. Could this be the way to do it? Get the allies at the start? And then... Tell you what, let's just... Let my allies weaken them a little. And then... Pick a target and go in for the kill. Oh, that's way too far. That is way too far, way too far, way too far. Come on. Alright, we got one, we got one, we got one. Where's the other guy? He's quite far. And... Oh! <laughs> Definitely. Definitely easier when cheating. Okay, though. Right. I still want to know what this could be used for. Abandoned stage sub star station. We can't. No, you know what? Break the lock. Break the lock. Break the lock. Okay, so this is tier three. Okay. All right. We got one left. We got one left. Definitely. Oh god. Don't get too close. Definitely a little easier with the allies and the uh, upgrades. All right. 
Where are you? Okay. Remain in tears. I keep these upgrades. We don't get one upgrade per... It's not like a permanent each tier we get a new damage boost or something. I don't get extra enemy uh, support. But that's two people supporting me. That's got to make a difference. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, the shields are down, shields are down. Lay in, lay into it. Oh. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Tier That's four way initiated. easier. Tier five. That is way easier. All right, let's get some. I want to get to an, an asteroid so I've got some cover when they. New like that. Active. All right. So, who's the closest? Am I able to shoot them from this distance? Am I doing any damage? I might be. Oh god, no, no, no. That's what I want to do. Come on. Oh, I'm out of power. I'm out of power. I'm out of... Oh, my boosters are gone. Come on, he's down. Come on. I've got some power back. I just... Come on, come on, come on. I tell you what, le... Target's David, why won't it... Okay, you know what? This, this is... This is... Oh my god! Do not die, 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 do not die. Okay, I don't have any engines, I don't have any engines. That's not locked, not locked, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to die now. Okay. Okay. Have I got engines back? I got a little bit of engine. A little bit of engine. Have I? Don't think I have. It's not really giving me any... I don't have any ability to accelerate at all. Okay, so you know what? Then leave. Yes! Two five! With cheating! Don't care! Yeah! Yeah, yeah. The only problem is... Yeah. Oh, engines! We're back! We got inch. Oh my god, final tier, final tier, final tier. Fi you know what? I don't care now. I don't care. I'm happy. I'm happy. I got something out of my cheating. Oh god, oh god. Come on. Get some repairs. Go and get some repairs. Go in. Boost. Repair. Oh, oh we're so close. We were so close. I'm going to give it one try, though. I don't. I'm happier, though. I'm happier. I am happier. But I'm going to give it another try. That was doable. I felt like that was doable with the cheats. As long as I got my two. Maybe what I should have done. I think maybe I went in too quickly. On that last run, I think I got too greedy. I was leaving. I was leaving it to the to the. Oh, they're probably. Is it because they're destroyed? Once they're destroyed, they're gone. I should have. I should have let them weaken the enemies, shouldn't I? I should have let them weaken the enemies. But I think they've gone. Once they're destroyed, they're gone. They don't get re-put back in. Which I think means I'm totally, 
Yeah. That's how it works. So what I need to do is let them soften the enemies up just enough, just enough, but not get destroyed. Because now I'm going to get, I'm going to get totally and utterly. Oh, I don't even have, I don't even have my power set correctly. I don't have all my power set correctly at all. Whoa! Oh. Nope. Oh god. Honestly though. You may proceed to the exit hatch to lock your results. I'm gonna do that again. I think I can get this. I actually think I can get this. Okay. No, I actually did worse on that last attempt, but you know what? I'm happy now. Five out of six is not Good too bad, right? There, applicant. Yeah. All right, then. So now I've got to go back up and report my successful completion of the test. Five out of six. It's not six out of six, and that's going to bug me. I'm sort of hoping I can go back when I've maybe got some more skill and take it again. All right, I did your test. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Or did you have some uh, questions you needed answered first? Oh, right. I'm curious, how long have you been with the Vanguard, Commander? Me? Six, seven years now? Was a recon squad commander in a former life. So it wasn't too big a jump bossing around foreign pilots instead. But Vanguard okay. has been a quality assignment. Meet new people, Judge them on a series of diverse criteria. Get them out there helping people who need it. It's a man who likes his job. Does a good job selling it as well. This building is called MAST, right? What kind of name is that? Stands for... MAST is short for Military Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. <laughs> From here, the three Someone co-equal divisions of the to that government in. work together to advance the cause of the colonies. Be that through mutual defense, political and diplomatic strength, or scientific discovery. Now, serving any of the UC's divisions grants citizenship, but scientific and admin positions in the UC tend to be real competitive. Understandable, most people will prefer to earn their citizenship behind a desk rather than in combat. Not something I'd ever choose for myself, but understandable. <laughs> All right, and why does the UC need foreign pilots to fly for them? Military used to have a pretty narrow view of where the best pilots came from. In their eyes, it was UC or bust. The creation of the Vanguard was an acknowledgement by the brass that maybe not all the galaxy's greatest pilots went through a UC flight school. So it's the Vanguard's job to find them and get them to fly for us. Okay. I wouldn't mind going through the UC uh, piloting school, though, gotta be honest. I wrapped up the piloting exam and they told me to come back here. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? No. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. I'm ready. Make it snappy. Time's a wasting. What else is the cover? Uh, I'm game. Cute test, by the way. Nothing like real combat, but cute. <laughs> and it cheat. I'll let the techs know you think so highly of their work <laughs> and make a note you've got prior combat experience. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. Oh, I was Your being... Your physiological results are eerily calm. Not a vital spec to be seen. I was being evaluated. You really know which how to buttons. keep your cool. Exactly what the Navy's looking for in our recruits. Uh, you oh, obviously didn't you have found cameras. found debug system in the simulator. <laughs> Nicely in done. The simulator. Okay, Curiosity so you're okay with that. Resourcefulness are skills our recruits need. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Clear tier five, huh? Damn impressive. I All swear right. they start cheating at that level. But the text I know. I Either just... way, you've got the skills the Navy needs. They are lying. So then, looking at your results as a whole, factoring in that you managed to utilize all the tools at your disposal, once you've successfully completed your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only, only five years. You showed real potential in this. You want to make okay. sure you're fighting on our side. 
even authorized me to offer you a bonus in addition to your signing advance. Sounds like you're just the type of pilot the Vanguard's looking for. All right. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. Okay. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? Uh, can we do this under the table? I'd like to proper. No, 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 I'm ready. I do it anyway. Pretty much any of your guys ask for help, I help. So, I'm ready. Fantastic. Then just follow me. I guess from this moment on was the our guys. But uh, I was also wondering, you know, do you guys have your own shipping yard? Bits to outfit the, uh, where the hell are we going? <laughs> oh, wow. How long was I in there? Yeah, your, your techie's probably going to be a little on the irritable side. I was in there a while. Um, it was, yeah, you don't want to know. Where exactly are we going? Okay, what are you going to do? Throw me over the edge? Wait. Okay. All right. Then. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, okay. raise your right hand. See, I like your the thinking. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where Supra we serve. Supra et Ultra. Beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? And to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? I'm not busy. <laughs> I do. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now. Only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. All right. So what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau City 2 count on you? Definitely. Let's do this. Oh. Do you think we should expect trouble? No major settlements on Tal City. No real active industry either. Doesn't make for a big target. All right. It's got the potential to be a pretty quiet trip. Uh. There's a reason <laughs> they wrote Here Be Dragons on the map edge. So if it were me, I'd hope for the best and arm for the worst. And if for some reason you do run into trouble, Good advice. don't forget, it's your job to protect those who need it. So, you ready to head out? Definitely. Let's do this. That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. A oh, new recruit and kit. And your advance. New recruit Give kit. Give it your all out there. Supra et ultra. Supra et ultra. Okay. Repair kit. Speak to Crew Chief Harath at the New Atlantis spaceport. Now we're talking. And while I'm there, I'm going to upgrade the ship. I've got a couple of points. I'm going to spend them. And I'm going to get an upgraded reactor. I'm going to get some better guns. And I think I'm going to get some better shields. Overall, I think that's going to be pretty damned helpful. So according to the scanner... Crew Chief Herath is over here. Okay. Am I making this delivery in a different ship? Because to be honest, I've had more than my fair share of other ships for a while. Can we transfer whatever needs to be delivered to mine? Although... Seems to have some weaponry. Right. Right. and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herath, pleasure to be working yes. with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, 
Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. Right. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med what packs, some welcome? small arms, couple spare oh. ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Right, I was going to say. They were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? Right. Um... Yeah, first of all, what exactly are you putting on my ship? Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Okay. Anything you can tell me about Tau Ceti 2? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean. No known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. All right, I'm all set. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Will do. Now, I saw a technician. A vanguard technician. I don't suppose I can get them to... Was it you? Hello. The things people do to their poor, poor ships. I hope you're not talking about the hopper. You really better not be talking about the hopper because the hopper is awesome. Like, seriously awesome. However, I'm going to make some upgrades. Whilst you guys are installing whatever you're installing, I'm going to be adding something new. Yes, I am. Where are you? We, we need to put the ship into into space hey, dock. What can I do for you? However, it is time. It is absolutely time. Thing is, two points in spaceship design. I've, I've checked what this guy's got. Will give me shields that are almost as good as a single upgrade of this. Uh, allow me to get weapons that are kind of like a single boost of these. And... A reactor that is five more power points, which is the same as rank four in this. And I'm three skill points away from that. So honestly, heading towards this is, is just not nowhere near as useful as getting these two. Overall, this is the sensible thing. So, allow the installation of improved ship modules. And I need to install five unique ship modules to be able to get the next rank. Okay, then. Let's get this started, shall we? Need some work done? It's a little top-heavy now, <laughs> but that's because I've changed the reactor. This is a massive upgrade. Five more power. That is a huge upgrade. Unfortunately, that reactor does not have a fix point. So I may actually want to completely redesign the ship and lower it to give it some more coverage. But until then, I'm just going to use these structural pieces to extend over a little. I think as soon as we get to another spaceport, I will try to find some better structural pieces. I'm pretty sure there are loads. They just don't sell them here. I've upgraded the shield. This is a fairly substantial boost as well. I've improved the turret. It does about 10 to 15% more damage, and I've doubled them. Um, so, obviously, I'm going to need more power for this shield, two more power, and I'm going to need three more power for these. This is supplying it. So, you know, that is a, an overall boost. I've changed the particle beam weapons to ones that are slightly less damage, but fire quicker. And overall, it's about... I think about 15% more damage. So, basically, I've got 15% more damage on the primary weapons. I've got well over double the damage on my turrets. I've got more shield. And because of the power, I can keep them all powered. I'm going to leave the grav drive as is for now. That is a major upgrade. That is going to make it 
a lot more survivable. It was also very expensive. You know, that looks better than I thought it was going to look. It's got a serious wedge look to it, like it's going to punch through something. But more importantly, it's got more firepower, better shields, and a reactor to run them all at full power. I think this is going to really help in the uh, ensuing encounters. For now, let's get to the outpost, pick up Moera, and then in the morning, we can head out and get this Vanguard mission done. It rains quite a lot here, doesn't it? I mean, it's very pleasant, but it is often somewhat drizzly. Right. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're awake. We are heading to Tau Ceti. Although, before we go... Ahoy, Cora. Captain. Ahoy, right back at you. Your ship smells so much better than Dad's. I... Like a lot. Okay. I have a book that I think you would like. What do you do on board? I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. Okay. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hint, hint. You can ask. <laughs> I promise I'll be good. Ah, uh, yeah. Dad, just please don't break anything. Um, do you like traveling with your dad? It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once! Same boring old planet for, like, years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? <sighs> Shocking! Absolutely, totally. What is a phase manifold? Okay, um, what do you want to be when you grow up? Let me guess. Uh, an explorer like your dad. I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. Okay, honestly, you sound like you will make a very good captain. A lot more sensible than me and your dad. Bye. Okay, I do have a book, though. I, I really, for some odd reason, thought you wanted, um... Was it the origin of species? Didn't, didn't you... Sam. Sam. You need something? I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. Yeah, that's true. Do you have anything interesting for me? Certainly. Here you go. Cesium, thank you very much. Uh, okay, you know what? No, I've just got a book that your daughter would love. Of. Absolutely. You know what? Later. Speaking Speaking of things that uh, someone might absolutely love, I... Uh, no more. I've actually... I've now made my overcharged calibrated mag shot fully automatic that is insane reason i did that was um apparently it doesn't reduce the damage per shot and all the other weapons it reduces the damage quite a lot so honestly yeah but on this one same damage per shot lot more shots kind of insane but i'm okay with insane what was i doing Did I? Oh, I put the hat. I put the hat in. I must have stored the hat in the lodge. I didn't. I didn't store it here by accident, did I? I didn't store it here by accident. Please tell me. No. I stored it in the lodge. Yep. Stored it in the lodge. Oh. Or I sold it. And then I'm going to cry. Because I was really looking forward to trying that hat. Really was. Probably won't go with this. I want a new spacesuit as well. This spacesuit is actually very good, but I prefer the way the other one looked. I also... Not a big lover of this boost pack. I must not... Sell the boost pack, though, because it's my superior constellation pack. I'm keeping that. Okay. Enough chit-chat. We are heading to Tau Ceti. We have got a delivery to make. Look at those turrets. Time to Look push at some I want some more turrets, though. They only take six power. I could get two more turrets. 
Maybe put them on the side. Sort of hanging off. Get even more firepower. Harry. Oh, look! Extra shield! Uh, okay, particle weapons. Right, so... What I'm going to need to do is sort of... Actually, I never need more than... I mean, realistically... Wow. I can pretty much have the EM cannons ready to go as well. They can do some damage. But just leave the particle beam weapons fully powered and then... You know, once I want to board something, just remove this. Put that on. Okay, I'm liking this. Yes, I am. Still going to need more power because eventually I'm going to want more shields and more weapons. Because that's how it goes, really, isn't it? Enough is never enough, is uh, how I believe the saying goes. Grunt work. Make contact with the settlers on Tau Seti 2. Right, we're uh, we're delivering repair materials. Scan unavailable. I've been to Tau Seti. It's not that dangerous a place. So why did I not scan the place? I have a feeling it means I was probably chased out of there. Which, considering how not particularly dangerous this place is supposed to be, is still somewhat worrying. All right, let's get ready to switch power. Oh, the grav drive transfers power automatically, I think. Once you've used it, I think it just dumps the power. Yep. Okay. So, this is where we've got to deliver the stuff. And... Tau... Was it... Was it the Gourmet Production Center? Uh, that is... What? How did that happen? That's what I was looking for. We're... I'm not totally sure. There's some settlers down here, but where? Tau Gourmet Production Center? Could that be where the settlers are? It's the only place of interest on... Wait. Nope. There's no, there's no floating station nearby. All right. And... Oh. Okay. Let's go. Landing site's good to go. Oh, yeah. The more I see this, the more I'm liking the look. It just looks heavily armed. Which is probably... Well, we're not giving an Explorer vibe, but I'll tell you what we are giving now. UC Vanguard vibe, yeah? Is this... Does this place have a breathable atmosphere? We didn't scan it, did we? Can I tell the ship to scan the planet that we're on? Will it do that? Let's have a look. Um... No. Does landing here automatically scan it? It would seem so. The ship is smarter than I am. Which I'm oddly proud of, and yet also ever so slightly embarrassed about. Okay! Let's get out there, Maora, and do Vanguard stuff, yeah? wonder if we'll find any settlers out there. Well, I hope so. That's kind of what we're here to find. Okay. Iron. Okay. We have dead settlers. No signs of life. Okay. And... This is not good. This is really... Not good. Okay. 
seeing I'm seeing someone down there. The settlement's been attacked. The settlement has been attacked. Oh god. And there does not seem to be any survivors. Oh. Why won't it there you go. Okay. Wow. All right. I don't know what we're dealing with. I'm guessing spaces, but difficult to know. Okay. That's much. Let's Oh god. Did that sound um alien? That definitely sounded alien, didn't it? Have we got a terramorph? I see you. I see you. All right. Where? You're sure that's safe, right? Nope. But right now, I think not knowing where whatever screamed is less safe. Don't you? Okay. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper up for a stroll. Okay, well, I got good news. Uh... Not getting manpower like that outside of wartime. You'll have to settle for a vanguard recruit. <laughs> Haven't brought the joke to your homeworld just yet, huh? But you see vanguards a hell of a lot better than what I've got. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One right. of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. An anomaly? Are, is, are all the settlers dead? I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. Okay. Terramorph, what's that? I sort of know, I've... But give me the details. Among apex predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart. And their mental prowess only increases with age. Some Brilliant. can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock. Or toys. How they're very human. creatures without peer. Okay, and what kind of anomaly are we talking about? Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. Okay, sounds like you need my help. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. Oh, that is a relief. Because I thought you were going to ask me to go in. there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. Okay. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. 
But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Okay. Well, okay, right. Um, you're not coming with me. No, 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 no. Wounded probably needs to be here anyway. Something needs to happen. Whoa, whoa, I came here to help some settlers, not play tutor. Okay. Um, where's the security outpost? It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then okay. we can see about getting things back online. And what can you tell me about the security system? The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. There were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. All right. Yeah, she's not coming. All right, let's get the security system back online. <laughs> Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make yeah. sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. You mean don't blow it to kingdom come. Got it. Alright, do you mind if I just, um... Stock up, just in case? I hope not, because I'm going to do exactly that. 